Hey friends, today's video is a quick roundup of the little things we did around the airstream to make it more comfortable for us. But first of all, I like to ask for some help because I realize I have no idea how to clean the curtains in the airstream. It says dry clean only. It just doesn't make any sense I'm going to send curtains to do dry clean. And uh, it's not very easy to install, uninstall from the reels. It's all fabric. They obviously need a clean, not every day, but once a year I like to do that. And they're all white. So I'm, I'm not sure how to do it. How do you clean your curtains in the airstream? Or do you ever clean it? Am I overthinking? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. So what are you doing? Scoring. Scoring the flooring. You like that? It rhymes. Yeah. This flooring we did for winter camping, as ugly as it is, even though I think I did a pretty good job installing it, is really comfy to walk on. Great really, for really cushiony and warm slash cool. Just delightful. We put a mirror on the inside of the closet door uh, so we can have a look. When we go out, we look decent for the birds. I don't know why I insist on this, but somehow it feels important. We just use the double-sided tape to tape it. This mirror is from IKEA, about seven bucks, which is the cheapest one they have and the only one it fits, which is great. I love the price. These cushions are made of plastic. Which I think is great. And I hate them. It's great if you want to go swimming with a cushion, but who does that? It's stain and water resistant. Okay, it's and uncomfortable for, and sticky. You you don't bear skin on that. Yeah, you can't. You, <sighs> wait a sec. What's this? What's my hand made of? Oh yeah, bear skin gross. All right, so I'm just painting the steel plate in the uh, bottom of the airstream trunk here because it looks like it might uh it's got a little mat that sits on it a little rubber mat and it looks like it's going to uh that mat's going to hold moisture up against a steel plate for prolonged periods of time that mat's going to hold i got to talk at you or you're not going to hear me so the little mat that goes in here is going to hold moisture it's going to hold moisture up against the uh steel plate for prolonged periods of time and that's going to cause it to rust. I've heard from uh, another Airstream user that that is one of the sort of things he doesn't like about it. So I'm going to just put a coat of trim clad on it right away so at least the water will be sitting on the trim clad and not on the steel. And of course this is open to the environment. It is not a sealed container. It's not a sealed cabinet, so when we're driving, you know, road spray gets up in here. It's often quite wet and nasty in here. So, you know, um, that being said, it, it's, it's never going to be reliably dry for long. So here we go. If you're working in here, don't forget to wear gloves or file this off. This is pretty sharp. I, uh, it's not super sharp, but I, I scratched myself on it once or twice already. This side's not bad. The chrome isn't bad, but this the steel edge is super sharp. Wear gloves. All right, that was pretty quick. Let her dry. I have some very exciting cleaning product to share with you. I don't know, a good cleaning product always get me super excited because it makes my life so much easier. In the vlog of the uh, Ottawa RV show, I quickly mentioned that I really like AquaTac 
uh, ta da da da! This is the one for the the tank. This one you can use that in black tank and a gray tank. I really really like that in black tank. We don't use RV RV toilet paper. It's very expensive and it's super thin. I it's just not like how it's just not how I like to spend my money. We use regular toilet paper after doing some readings and also uh, did some testing and we keep a close eye on the black tank and it works totally fine. So we do some rough tests and uh, we keep close eye on the situation when we clear the black tank. We use the three day cycles either with driving around or uh, without driving around. And the scenario two is uh, with this product and without. What we find is uh, uh, with our habit, how we like to use the toilet paper, without the product, it still doesn't cause any kind of a clog at all. Uh, when we drain it, we barely see any tissue. Every now and then there's some little clumps, but the, the, the size and the clearness of the tank was totally fine. But with this product, we find it's really liquefied. I rarely, rarely see any white little tissue balls. So I quite like it. And it's a green apple flavor. I like that. The other thing, which is a new find, I got this samples uh, when we first got the RV. This is a vinyl guard. I, I couldn't test it. I don't know how to test it. Basically, I just put it on and I don't know what result should I think. But this one, the easy clean. I'm, once I'm using this up, I'm for sure gonna buy the full size. No question asked. I like to clean with a simple wipe or with the alcohol and usually it, it works really well great like uh, the alcohol lift up grease and everything really easily and we have little food stand on the floor which is a you know air string comes with this kind of a weaved texture floor which you know i don't like that because it's extra work when it comes to cleaning and it's true if uh, i dropped a, a tomato and red pepper flakes and it just become red stem i couldn't i use magic eraser i use cleaner uh, old purpose cleaner, alcohol, no, it's just a mini rest stand there to irritate me. <laughs> anyway, so spray, lift, it's that simple, like, like, holy grail, I love this. Uh, same with the sofa, I clean the whole sofa with it. Before I do this cleaner, I use the uh, uh, wet cloth, alcohol wipe, feels really clean. And then I use this easy clean. I'm not selling any products. I just really love that. Uh, the tissue still gets a thing like a, a little bit of dark, a little bit dirty. So love it. I yeah, everything just comes so clean with this. It's a for sure a repurchase. Uh, water tank. We also bought their water tank cleaner. You know, instead of using our uh, chlorine, I did a quick test with my super old bucket to see if it removes the stain. But I felt like because the bucket was so, so rough, so the surface was so wear out, it 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 didn't impress me. The only thing that impressed me was it totally got rid of the chlorine smell. So I was pretty happy with that. So that still needs to be tested further to see how great or mediocre it is. So far, I'm happy. An interesting thing I learned about this aqua tank, this thing they did. First, what it drew my attention is it says it has enzymes and bacteria, which I just love those little buddies working magic. You know, I like to do ferment. Uh, fermenting stuff like I do my own fermented rice, uh, nado, and I do compost. I just love all things fungus, bacteria. You got my attention, so I for sure that's why I wanted to try it in the first place, and it works really well. 
happen. One interesting thing is that they don't expire because it's an enzyme and bacteria based. Basically, when they're not working, they're just dormant there. I thought that's pretty cool. Now I hope they come out with some kind of a magic spray that I can spray on the curtains and get the curtains clean. I also cleaned and waxed the whole air string. I timed myself. It took me four hours total to do the whole trailer, one hour to wash, 45 minutes to dry, and uh, wipe and let it air dry as well, and one and a half hour to wax the whole trailer. So I didn't take any break. That was uh, straight up work. I think in the future with some optimization with uh, the order in terms of uh, which part to do, I think I can make that more efficient. And uh, if I can get some help uh, from Phil, like imagine we do that to two person, I think a two hours should be sufficient. So always feel like a clean and a wax is a big job. And uh, actually with two people, it's just a two hour work with one people is a whole hour, a morning. I did the whole morning. So it's a big chunk of time, but totally doable and uh, not as uh, strenuous as I thought. So I also did the car today, which wash, dry and uh, wax and Renex. I love Renex. Took one hour and a half. I don't know. I like to time myself so I know next time how much time to budget if I wanted to do it again. 